Hey guys, welcome to Coin Nation. I'm Preston, and I want to talk a little bit about how we can use to our advantage many of the shortcomings of modern day crypto tech by leveraging the deep end narrative in the coming bull market. If this sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get into it. Mark my words, DPIN or Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Networks is shaping up to be one of the hottest new kid on the block narratives coming to the cryptocurrency space. And if you play your cards right and ride the right DPIN narratives in the next bull run, you could easily 10x all the way up to 100x your initial investments. So what exactly is DPIN? You can think of it like a fusion between blockchain and physical infrastructure. It's the reason that a lot of us are so gung-ho about the internet computer. So what am I getting at? If you're into ICP and you believe that the internet computer protocol is indeed the future of Web3, then surely you have heard content providers say things just like this. If you understand that ICP is probably the best technology in crypto. Because this is the best thing I've ever seen in nine years of crypto. ICP ranks above pretty much most of the rest. So ICP is by far the most advanced decentralized cloud infrastructure project today. And the ICP army is just getting started. We're going to keep beating that drum that if you have a DAP, a decentralized application that depends on a non-ICP blockchain, then all data of value exists external to the chain. All computational resources exist external to the chain. All storage resources exist external to the chain. And you're basically using a Web2 app that kicks you out of the normal Web2 flow of things to interact with a wallet, right? And we're talking tokens and NFTs transactions and then we get knocked back into the web 2 experience this is not true decentralization so what is our job as investors we need to seize on this and invest properly that we can maximize our returns based on the truths that we just highlighted so since icp wins hands down on the tech front the multi-million dollar question is, should you go all in on ICP for the coming bull run as your main play? I think that that's a solid play. I think tops ICP maxes out at $1,000 a token. Obviously on the way up, you would want to DCA out of the token to mitigate your risk. But if we're thinking in terms of low market cap with strong narratives and fundamentals, then I think there's a better way to maximize your return over the next two years. So let's take a time machine, flash forward. It's June, 2024. We've all had it up to here with the campaign as in all the election shenanigans in the United States. We have a lot to look forward to. The Bitcoin having was a success and we're all trying to go to the moon, right? That's where we are. The rest of the digital assets community is not just gonna stand by while we preach to everybody that ICP is the best innovation since sliced bread, paper towels, toilet paper, rocket ship. I'll let you fill in the blanks there. There will be a countering narrative. There will be an answer to the ICP community. And I believe that answer lies in general purpose compute networks, decentralized compute networks. You can see this coming from 300 miles away if you think outside of the box just a little bit. Crypto is inherently notorious for being a place of tribalism. So you're going to see people who already have their pre-baked in bias against the internet computer start to coalesce around their favorite blockchain plus their general compute deep end project of choice. So let's take a look at some of the projects that fall squarely within that category. So pulling up the deep end sector map from Misari, I think this is probably the most valuable diagram going around. Uh, regarding DPIN and the current state of DPIN. But as you can see, we have several categories here. We have wireless networks. Many people are familiar with Helium that recently moved to the Solana blockchain. Geospatial networks, mobility networks, energy networks, storage networks. A lot of people are familiar with File, Coin, Arweave, um, some other familiar ones there. Databases, we have content delivery networks. Um, 
VPN networks, web proxies, machine learning, DPIN specific transcoding, RPC networks, indexers. So again, this is the fusion of blockchain with physical infrastructure. The area that I want to kind of hone in in this video in the context of the arguments that I presented are the general purpose compute networks. They have 10 of them listed here. A lot of people familiar with Akash and Flux and Render. And then there's some kind of, you know, under the radar ones here, such as Aleph. I did a video on the left where I've already locked in a 400% gain on the left and stack OS have not seen that out there in, you know, in the crypto space, haven't seen any content providers talking about that. So I think these relatively unheard of ones are where the opportunities are gonna lie. Some key takeaways from a cash network, sovereign infrastructure that scales. They're an open source super cloud that lets users buy and sell computing resources securely and efficiently. You will own your own cloud and you will be happy. Super cloud at your fingertips at price that you choose. Infrastructure is cold, Kubernetes powered, persistent storage, dedicated IP leasing, censorship resistant and unstoppable, layer one protocol, interoperable with IBC. Akash is the first blockchain to successfully carry out an inter-blockchain communication transaction with Cosmos Hub. This makes Akash able to communicate natively with other blockchains that are also IBC compatible. The only issue that I have with Akash is they have already done a 22X. If you go back to June of 2022, Market cap sat at a little bit below 30 million. As of today, we're sitting at 675 million or 666 million to be specific uh, market cap. That's basically roughly a 22X. My opinion, Akash is kind of considered to be a blue chip in the deep end space. Definitely worth having some exposure to, but most certainly not your moonshot play. Some key takeaways on the left.im. Full disclaimer, I've already made a 4X on a left. I think it's a pretty decent project. Keep your dApp running smoothly thanks to our reliable Web3 cloud solution. They're blockchain agnostic, lightning fast, low cost, and trustless. And let's just see, why use a left.im? To build dApps without any centralized components. Run your data storage and business logic on an unstoppable decentralized network instead of a centralized service such as AWS or Google Cloud. What are the computing solutions? Private virtual machine, 24 seven virtual machine and serverless functions. Serverless functions are basically deploying code to a specific endpoint and that endpoint runs your code. You don't need to stand up any infrastructure yourself. It's already pre-wired. You just drop the code in. Now you have code accessible on the web. Storage solutions, immutable volumes, storing and sharing data and distributed file system and file storage very cool stuff heading over to coin market cap for a left uh, interesting thing taking place playing out as we speak we just surpassed a previous high of 63.7 million dollars and we are currently sitting at 76.4 million dollars and so the next stop for a left's market cap would be at around 100 million and then after that 150 million then after that i think the sky is the limit so could this be your 10x, your 20x, 30x, your 50x? I think so. Um, and just from my observation of the adoption of Alef, I think it stands to be a very good performer in the coming bull run. So this could be your moonshot play. So definitely worth doing your own research on Alef. Heading over to Flux main page, let's see what key takeaways we have. Build on Web 3.0 today. The Flux Cloud is a people powered network to help you build decentralized applications with increased flexibility, scalability, and censorship resistance. Countries and location, they're in 78 different places. 12,000 total nodes. So here's some metrics, you know, just about uh, what's going on on Flux. The next generation of the internet, Flux Cloud advantages. And here's a breakdown of the cost um, when you compare pound for pound to the centralized tech. So $5.36 on Flux would cost $176 on Google Cloud, $79 on AWS, and $116 on Azure. And that's for a machine that has two CPU cores. Very 
interesting stuff. Heading over to coin market cap, the market cap of Flux peaked out at about 600, almost $700 million. Today is sitting at $205 million. I think that that's, you know, that looks like a guaranteed three to four X. Um, is it gonna be your moonshot play? My only issue is that Flux has been around longer than most of any of these deep end projects. And if the most we saw during the previous bull run was $600 million. It could just be that the product market fit of Deepin back then wasn't what it is today. So I, I do think Flux is very promising. It has a very strong community behind it. And a lot of people like the fact that it's proof of work based. So I, I, I think Flux is a good solid play. Whether or not it's going to be your moonshot play, I'm not sure. But I do think you'll get pretty decent returns on Flux. Last up is Stack OS infrastructure for Web3, gaming, DeFi, NFTs, all that good stuff. And uh, enterprise grade, super fast, unstoppable, 1,700 live applications. Plus you have 165 million apps that have been served by the network. It's a cross chain open protocol connecting developers with decentralized compute power through a simple, no code UI based application deployment engine. Love how that sounds. So you got some things for developers to take a look at and start to use the network governance based on most likely a token of their own. Some info about their partnerships. They're on Binance, Polygon, NEO, and Avalanche so far. Let's take a look at some token specifics. So immediately there's a way to connect your wallet and trade into the token using Polygon. Yeah, I don't see any other chains listed here. So it looks like Polygon is their blockchain of choice for at least their website. Heading over to CoinMarketCap, there's not enough data to get your typical metrics. So immediately when you see something like this, you know this is the DGen play, right? This is project is still growing. So more recent search is going to be required to determine if it's worth your investment. If you do find that it is, most likely this is, would fit the category of a low cap gym. So hard to get a handle on what the market cap size is. You could go to something like Dex Tools. Okay, over at Dex Tools, it seemed like I found the liquidity pair that gives us the data we're looking for. We have a $9.6 million market cap and it looks like 483 million of the total billion tokens are in circulation so about 50% supply a little bit more than 50% of the supply in or a little bit less than 50% of the supply in circulation yeah so this is the, the kind of data we're looking for this would definitely fit the category of a low cap gym provided that going down the rabbit hole the due diligence shows you that this is a prospect you know a prospect for a winning project of the general computation deep in category right so my advice would be to dig a little bit deeper into stack os and find out is this something that looks to be legitimate you know and could have yourself a winner right here with the low extremely low market cap going back to the site you know if all of this information is true 165 million apps serve 1.7 thousand uh live applications you know digging into the analytics and another thing would be checking out the socials and any underlying communities, Telegram, Discord, definitely worth looking into. And the fact that Masari included it as a part of their high level diagram of deep in and crypto. So this is how we do it. We understand the narrative. We understand where we are in the cycle, do our own research to hunt for these low cap gems and gain exposure before we have lift off. If you like this kind of content, go ham on that like and subscribe button to be notified as I put out more like it. And in the meantime, in between time, citizens, I will catch you later.